Time keys and it's for the British title of GPW Juice versus Hayes three. And there is a massive backstory to these two. This this feud, this ongoing rivalry between Juice and Joey started started after both men left Sid. You know what, Keys? But you could you could talk about the backstory involving them in Sin. You could talk about the crazy cruiser rate. You could talk about the battle with the bang, the fight for the British titles. You could talk about the the two statistics, the, how great both of them had 2009. All those keys, all those things, Keys. But the bottom line is, we've got two of the very very best we've ever had facing each other one on one. Two out of three falls with the British title on the line, Keys. It doesn't get much bigger than that. Very well said, Robbie. Very well said. Joey Hayes coming out here. He is the reigning Crazy Cruiser A champion. But tonight, it's not about that trophy. It's all about the GPW British title. And remember, folks, this is the last time that Joey Hayes and the Juice CJ Banks will fight for the British title. That's right, that crazy cruiserweight title that Hayes earned last year, late last year, is not on the line tonight, Keys. This is exclusively for the British title. And again, just like all the other British title matches, Juice has everything to lose and nothing apart from pride and and boasting to win. He has everything to gain in this keys because he'll have got, he'll have got a victory over Joey Hayes, who's damn near unbeatable in GPW. And look, the man of the moment, Fox Carter, strangely absent throughout the show, and now we know why keys because he's accompanying his man, Juice, to the ring. Well, Fox Carter not having a match tonight, instead accompanying his friend, his mentor, and his boss. The GPW British champion, you may see in peak condition. The juice CJ Banks scowling at the audience, and no love, no love lost between juice and the audience. Pound for pound, Keys, he's the best that we've got right now, perhaps ever. He's damn near unbeatable, the same as Hayes, but he's a current title holder. Keys, British champion, stole it. Wait a minute, the referee ejecting Fox Carter as quick as he turned up, ejecting him straight away. This is the last time that these two men will fight, and I don't think that the GPW officials want anyone to interfere in this. Well, there he goes. Absolutely peak condition, the GPW British champion. Joey Hayes not in bad condition himself, Robbie. His wrists looked extremely bendy, Keys. It did! 
Well, this match is for that title. The GPW British title. We can't say it enough. This is the last time these two will meet. It's, it's the peak. It's history in the making. History in Robert. the making, Keys. It's the peak of, of probably both of them's careers. This match will determine which one of these carries on going up the ladder and which one finds himself stagnating somewhere in the middle of it. Or oh, maybe the top of the middle or the middle of the top. You know what I mean, Keys? This is a crucial match in both of these careers. Winner take all, Keys. And it's not only about the GPW British title anymore. It's about pride. It's about one-upmanship. It's about getting ahead of your opponent and Juice Air saying... I was that close. And it's all about the juice tonight, Keys. Make no mistake about it. You're going to call me here for showing favouritism, but call it what you will. Juice has to stay one step ahead of Joey Hayes throughout this whole contest. Hayes beat him at the cruiser rate. They drew last month for that British title. The juice has to stay that one step ahead. And the first fall, Keys, in this two out of three falls match is crucial, obviously, because whoever gets that fall has a huge psychological advantage over his opponent. Huge momentum if you win the first fall as well over your opponent. And a great, a great step ahead. I mean, you win one, you've only got one more to win. Exactly. You have to win two more. Exactly, Keys. One plus one equals two. And that's where you need to win this match. Two falls. And the thing is, particularly if Juice can take that first fall as the champion, that gives him that added incentive. Hayes, Hayes essentially has nothing to lose in this match, Keys, except the bucket loads of pride. Wait a minute. Headlock takeover from Joey Hayes. Leapfrog, leapfrog again. And a flying forearm to the face of the Juice. And Joey Hayes looks to be on top of the juice in the early goings of his match but up and over off the ropes head scissors over the juice going round and round in circles under Joey goes big drop kick to the chest of the juice and Joey has got the Wigan, Wigan fans in the Monaco ballroom firmly behind him here very nice drop kick keys and he's following it up and he's building momentum and there's juice doing what he does best cutting it off well, Joey Hayes, quick as a cat, straight up to the top one, two, three! Just three like... Count, that was a free count. Just like that. That's that's all it takes, Keys. One, one moment of magic. Bang! Well, Joey Hayes out of nowhere with that huge cross body. Well, the is a one-minute break in between falls with the score at one fall to nothing to Joey Hayes. And there you hear the official announcement from Sammy Shaw. One false and nothing for Joey Hayes. And Joey looks very pleased with that. They get a minute, Keys, to relax. Get the breath back. In Juice's case, maybe get his lunch back in his stomach. Well, there's no relaxing here for either man. Both men have to be on their toes, have to be ready for that bell, have to be ready for when the match restarts. And there you hear the bell for the second fall. Joey going straight to the juice with that punch. Starting straight where he left off and the juice is still reeling off the ropes. Big, big flame floor on there. One, two, and the, ju and the juice just kicking out there. Well, if that was a minute, Keys, we've been here for a week. And I'll tell you something, the juice was not ready when that bell run. And Joey, oh, look at that. Oh, referee Mikey Fitzgerald, great net break from Joey. And again, a bit of a nonchalant cover. He might be the referee, Keys, but he doesn't have a watch on. And he's not made a magic, well, Keys. He checks with... He, he checked. Oh, he checked. Juice. Oh, great. He checked with oh, the juice. Check with the the juice, juice. nodded to say he was ready. Obviously, the juice wasn't ready. I mean, that's misjudgment on the juice's part. You can't blame the referee. Fiddlesticks, Keys. That's what I think of you and your logic. Juice doesn't have a watch Again, on either, Keys. Joey goes for a cover, but not hooking the leg. Maybe taking it a bit easy now he's got that first fall. Could be a mistake, as we all know that the juice can come out of nowhere and hit. But oh. splash, splash, but drop kick to the face of Joey Hayes, and again a cover and not hooking the leg. Mistake from Joey Hayes, I believe. Juice cannot win a pace game with Joey Hayes. That has been established. If Hayes is allowed to build that quick momentum, keeps those lightning fast strengths 
using his feet like teenage he's... kick teenage kick attempt but the juice catches him hits one german hits two german suplexes we've seen this trademark juice goes for the third joey uses his his weight there to shift the momentum forward goes for a flying forearm there to the face and again a cover and again joey hayes not hooking the leg and what you're seeing with Hayes is he's using that electric pace, that great, great worksmanship that he puts in to get Juice down. And then look at him now, Keys. He's up on that top rope oh, and he's top. got... Big oh. body could be all over. No. Roll through strength. Look at the strength in Juice. The Juice taking that cross body, rolling straight through and oh. dropping Joey on his knee with that gut buster. There's the release, there's, Keys. There's the release German suplex, the third German in the series. And the juice could be going up to end it. Flash, flash. And it connects, Keys. Hooks the leg two, three. I don't and there is your second fall. Extremely short list of people that have kicked out of the flash, flash, Keys. Hayes is one of them, but not tonight. No cigar for Joey Hayes. And it's one fall apiece. And maybe we're going to get a full, real human minute this time, Keys, rather than one of, one of those fake crappy minutes we got an hour ago. Well, the juice certainly out of breath, but Joey Hayes looks to be in some pain after that flash, flash. And I don't, I don't want to say anything against Joey Hayes, but if Joey had hooked the leg every time he went for the cover, he could have got the other fall and this match could Here have been go. already over. Here we go, the Keys. Juice, Never mind whatever you're talking about. The juice not waiting for the bell there, jumping Joey Hayes as he got up in the corner, laying in those kicks, and there's the bell, and again, Juice laying in those kicks to the gut. And that, that was an illegal attack from the Juice to Joey. Well, you complain when it's not your hometown hero doing it, Keys, but you know, you need well, to, you've just seen what it's like when the boots Joey on the Hayes other foot, waited Keys. For the bell. Joey Hayes waited until the bell sounded and the match was officially on. Well, he was stupid then, Keys. And how, Juice is. How is that stupid, playing by the rules? Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't have time to answer these, these questions, Keys. Look at what Juice is doing to Joey Hayes. Look well, at Juice it. Juice ramming Joey Hayes gut first into the apron there. And jump up onto the apron himself after throwing Joey in. Sent on over, pulls him down, hooks the leg, holds the arm, and that is a very good pin from the Juice. The Juice bringing Joey's spare. Joey's free arm in, hooking the leg, making it harder for Joey to kick out, making it hard, making Joey need to spend more energy kicking out, and that is good strategy from the Juice. Juice knows what he's doing in that ring, Keys. Don't forget who he beat for that British title. Sam Bailey, who had the title for so long, everyone lost track and forgot he was the champion. Joey Hayes right now down and out on the mat and we're right by where we started Keys it's one fall apiece sudden death Keys next fall Keys, next person who gets a fall is going home as the British champion well the juice the juice maybe getting a bit cocky there not not hooking the leg after that gut wrench suplex and he's good the juice it's a good it's a very good strategy here Wearing down Joey Hayes. The, and there you see the pain on Joey's face. The ball's in Juice's cup. Both of these men have endured the finishing maneuver of the other man keys. However, Joey Hayes only recently felt the flash splash. A couple of minutes ago, Keys, and he's still suffering from it. And there we have BAM! Pound for pound, Keys best fat body drop in the business. Holding the arm, making it harder for Joey to kick out, but not hooking the leg. And now locking on a leg scissors along the waist of Joey Hayes, trying to squeeze all the oxygen out of Joey. And pulling on the hair now, the referee gonna start the five count. But you see Joey Hayes trying to will the crowd, trying to get the crowd behind him. And everyone in here is on the edge of the seats, Keys, me included, because this is a tense situation. You have the dominant champion, dominating Joey Hayes right now. Hayes needs the support of the crowd to get his engines firing. And at the moment, they're stalling, Keys. Well, at the moment, Joey Hayes battling back against the Juice. Tilt-a-whirl, back break return. Oh, oh. Free kick oh. combo. 
ending with that spinning wheel kick from Joey Hayes. And Joey Hayes looks like he's just spent all that energy. But it's bought him time, Keys. Speed of offense is key for Joey Hayes' performance. If he's allowed to combinate more than one or two moves in, in a flurry of offense, then it's bam, lights out for the juice. As he's just saw, both men down the referee, exercising that 10 count as fully as he can. And what happens if this ends as a count out, Keys? Well, I have no idea. Juice retains, of course. Well, you would, you would suspect that Juice would retain. I mean, he didn't take the five extra minutes that was offered last month. Going for that Boston Crab, maybe he rolls through. Massive net breaker from Joey Hayes there. And again, not hooking the leg. The referee's hand did come down, but make no mistake, that was only a two count, folks. Yes, it was excellent refereeing, and shades of Martin Kirby there, Joey Hayes' friend, with the net breaker. We saw Kirby dropping one of those earlier. It's a great effect, and Joey Hayes using the same thing, and now the referee again getting involved. Well, the juice throwing Joey's leg to the referee, and the referee having none of it, and Joey dropping the juice hard with that back suplex bomb. Cocky cover, Keys. Dropping Juice hard to the canvas, nearly getting the free count and the final fall to become the new British champion. And Joey looks to be in some sort of control here, at least for the time being. It's one of those situations, Keys, where it's all on the knife edge. But I tell you, now it's one fall each. I'm really starting to wonder about that championship Wait a minute. advantage, Keys. Oh! Kick to the face there from. Juice, Juice had that scouted. Double underhook. Double oh. underhook, powerbomb. Keeps him trapped, and as Joey kicks out, he's going to hook in that Texas Clover lead. That was so good, Keith. That was brilliant. Not a wasted mo movement from the Juice there. Straight into the Texas Clover lead, straight down onto the back of Joey Hayes, and you can hear Joey screaming. You can see the pained expression on his face as he's trying to reach to the ropes, trying to claw his way and grab any hope that he has left of becoming the GPW British Champion and there he gets it. The referee gonna force that break. Damage done, Keys. Game, set and match. Juice so clever. He knew that Joey Hayes would have to kick out using all of his leg strength. He was propelled downwards using that double underhook under, under powerbomb. Downwards, he had to kick out with his legs straight up into the Texas Cloverleaf. Brilliant submission wrestling. Juice there going for the flash splash it looked like, but Joey holding on to his feet, making sure he couldn't get to the top rope. And then throwing in a few shots to stun the Juice. And the Juice coming back with his own shots and both men now battling precariously on the ropes here in the turnbuckle. Could be going for a superplex here off the top rope. Hits it. And Joey, wait a minute, this is how it oh, ended it's last not one. Happened. Joey, fatigue setting in there, his legs dangling in the air, and Juice saw it, took advantage, and it was nearly all over. Well, that keys was almost yesterday all over again. These two. That superplex, the double hook pin, the referee, always happy to count two men down instead of one. Went for it. It's almost become the referee's signature move, Keys. But both of these guys are now in a place that they couldn't get to last month, and that's directly because of the stipulation on this match. Well, both men now throwing those vicious forearms to the face. The juice, Joey, back to the juice. Both men battling, jockeying for position here in the main event of GPW Jam Hot. Big kick to the gut of, by the Juice. Big kick to the gut of the Juice by Joey Hayes. Off the ropes, goes to a bus or knee. Joey ducks out of it, but the referee caught it straight in the chest. And he deserved it, Keys, because he's messing with the big boys in a place he shouldn't be. How is he messing with the big he's boys? Helping he's helping Joey Hayes. He's, the match. he's got involved. But Joey in... Hayes, watch out. On the top row, big cross body. This is how he got the first all hooks to the leg. Two, three, four. And the fans are chanting along. I'm chanting along. No, 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 Joey Keys. Joey Hayes should be no, the No, not a referee. Joey he's... Hayes should be the new British champion. That was at least a three count, a possible four, five, six count. No Juice way. Juice was down. Joey should be holding that title, should have it on his waist. Stop ranting, Keys, you've gone mad. And Fox Carter, what is Fox Carter doing out here now? 
He's, he's got the Crazy Cruiser trophy. Oh no, the referee's down and Fox is in the ring. And he just slammed that Crazy Cruiser 8 trophy across the head of Joey Hayes and Joey looks out cold. Well, any victory is a good victory, Keys, and Fox Carter's come out and made all the difference in this match. Dumb referee. Not like this. Come on, Joey, kick out. Not like this. There's two, and have we got the... No. Joey Hayes kicking out there at two and nine tenths. The referee's hand was coming down from the free count, but Joey kicked out and saved himself. Well, who... Fox, Fox has got to get out of here, but here comes Martin Kirby out here to help Joey Hayes, his friend Joey Hayes. And wait a minute, Kirby in the ring. Oh, this is... No way, Keys. Well, no way. Carter put that British title in the in the ring and the juice paid with it, paid for it there. Kirby. Martin Kirby. Kirby's dream line. This could all be over. We could have a new British champion. One, two, come on. Three, no. Yes. And that would have been disgusting. And Kirby using his finishing manoeuvre on the what British a, title keys was disgusting. What about any victory is a good victory, Robbie? It's both That's Fox Carter and Martin Kirby brawl on the outside now. Both men frustrated at the other for coming out and trying to help help their friend. And Fox Carter there with that vicious right hand as he retreats backstage and Kirby follows. It's turned into a fiasco, Keys. The referees lost control like no other. And this has turned into a mess. And both of these guys are in awful lots of trouble, Keys. Teenage kick uh. connects. Joey goes down for the cover. One, two, three. Yes. No. no one's ever kicked out of that, Keys. Ever, ever, ever. Hayes is losing it, Keys. We've seen this before. He gets that madman look in his eyes. The Wild Boys returning. For the teenage kick again, but the juice catches him with that first German, followed by another German. And we've seen this release German suplex into the corner. And Joey looks absolutely exhausted. He looked like he had this one. He looked like he should have been the new champion. But there you see Juice up top. Flash, splash. And it's all one, over. Two, two three. three. No. The, the Juice not keeping Joey Hayes down. Joey Hayes kicking out at the last. That was close, Keys. But flash, splash again. The Jew's not going for a cover this time. And he's doing it because he's his friend, Keys, because he likes him. All that Elagero crap you were spouting. One, two, three. Yes! And the Juice, after three flash splashes, picks up the final ball in this two out of three contest. And you hear it. Stop shaking your head, Keys. Stop covering your eyes, it's happened. One of these men is a man and the other a mountain keys. And the loser's lying on his back in the ring and the winner's on the outside of the ring eating up the adulation of this sold out crowd. Excellent result keys, excellent show. Well, I'm sure the Juice will say different but this was a hard fought battle and the Juice was taken from pillar to post. The Juice could have been walking away the loser tonight. Well, there's only one loser here, Keys, and that's you and Joey Hayes. What a great night. Good night, everyone. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there you see the Juice, CJ Banks. He is still the GPW British champion. This has been GPW Jam Hot. I'm Alan Keys, signing off. Good night, folks.